Over on my screen, we have an interesting case of a, a totally unknown like business style that like I've never seen before. Um, this is the access broker operation business model, hmm. which I, again, have never heard of before. So when you think of a ransomware group, you probably think of a group that goes out, they fish someone, and then they you know send an exploit, and then they own that company, they negotiate for ransom, and then they get away. That's what I thought. But that's not actually how it works in a lot of cases. There's another layer of business that happens where these people will act as remote access brokers, where they will specialize in getting initial access to a company. And, and this is something that's truly spray and pray. They will go and they might do some targeting, but they will just go after lots and lots of different organizations. And then later on, figure out who would pay money to get access to that organization's internal network. So uh, this was Google that kind of like, uh, as it says, blew the lid on uh, this kind of extra layer of criminal organization. But these like kind of uh, access brokers would use zero days and other flaws to infect companies and then sell the access to this company to other ransomware groups. So imagine you're a ransomware group, you're lazy, you've got money and you want to grow your business. So <clears throat> you want to do as little work as possible to kind of scale things and go after more people. Well, what if there was somebody or a business you could go to who would do the actual intrusion for you, take your custom malware, put it on the target, and then kind of just step back and let you do your thing? That seems like a much easier bet than doing all the work yourself, especially if this business is kind of specialized and they've been doing this for a while. And that's exactly what happened here. There was a business, um, which the code name was Exotic Lily. And um, this was a Russian cyber crime, looks like they work with a Russian cyber crime group known as Fin12 or Wizard Spider, hey, which is pretty cool. Um, and they had pretty normal jobs. Um, it was like, they were sending like 5,000 emails a day to as many as 650 targeted organizations. And they mostly worked nine to five hours. So worked a fairly typical nine to five a uh, job with very little activity during the weekends. So uh, this is just fascinating because it goes to show there's a whole criminal ecosystem and there's a whole like criminal uh, like extra layer of business where these people will kind of take care of the hardest part of breaking into a company for you. And then provided you have functioning malware that does the rest, you just give it to them and they will upload it to your target pretty crazy because it means that you no longer need to do the work yourself and these sorts of criminal organizations that just want to do ransomware can scale very quickly by just paying a third party to do what they specialize in so if you weren't aware of this whole other kind of segment of uh the criminal market when it comes to ransomware i wasn't either but this was a super interesting look into the way that these organizations scale themselves and are able to hit so many organizations so quickly it's because they can just buy access in some cases from these other brokers who specialize in that sort of thing so i mean if you're good at writing ransomware and doing the negotiations maybe you should just you know stay in your lane and let other people who are better at the intrusion do that and just pay them out of your profits and that seems to be the relationship that's developed between these two different segments of the ransomware industry so uh yeah a lot more nuanced than i thought it would be kind of interesting to note thing yeah all right so on that extremely op optimistic note thank you everyone for joining us today and especially thank you for your suggestions for alex's hacker name i think there were some really good ones in there um so uh yeah we'll see you guys next time thank you again and make sure to check out the q a stream on uh, tuesday where we're going to be going live again on hack five and we will have uh, lots of excellent questions to answer. So get yours in if you didn't get it answered today, and we'll make sure to answer it on the next stream on Tuesday. We'll see you then. Bye.